We're gonna make four old fashions using four different bourbons that David picked out himself. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, first up is an Old Forester 100 proof. Right, next up is an Old Label Wild Turkey 101. I mean, Wild Turkey is legendary. Can't say enough good things about Wild Turkey 101. It's kind of one of my go-tos in old fashions, along with this next bottle, Evan Williams 101. This thing is also legendary for old fashions. Last up is one that I, I, I like. I don't love, but it's got a little bit of a different profile, so I wanted to include it tonight. Which means it's probably gonna take number one place. Probably. <laughs> and it's Fighting Cock. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, ever had it, comes in at 103 proof. Jamie said I get to make the cocktails. Yes. We're using Angostura bitters. We're using Rose's Simple Syrup. We have some orange peel for garnish and to express. And we have some homemade cocktail cherries, which I made and I'm incredibly excited about. They're oh. really good. David, have you ever done a old-fashioned blind before? I don't think I've ever done this. This is one of the reasons why I'm so incredibly excited for this one. Two dashes of Angostura bitters. <laughs> now we're going to do a half ounce of simple syrup in each one. And this is kind of my default old-fashioned recipe. Sometimes in the summer, I'll muddle orange in there. Uh, sometimes I'll use less sugar if it's going to be a hot day. Uh, or something. Sometimes I use rye whiskey as well. And sometimes I use more simple syrup just so that way it's a little on the sweeter side. Yep. And sometimes we also, uh, I use sugar cubes. But I find that the simple syrup way uh, is a little easier. The sweetness is more consistent. Whereas with the, the sugar cubes, they tend to kind of the sugar just clumps on the bottom. All right, so we've got the bourbons lined up with the glass they go in. I'm gonna go ahead and pour them in and then I'll step away and Jamie will mix them up. So Jamie, your favorite, at least just to sit in need of these, is the Old Forester 100, right? Yes. So ounce and a half of the Evan Williams. I will say that when I tried Wild Turkey 101 on my last cocktail video with the Old Fashioned, I actually really liked it. Yeah, yeah. The Wild Turkey is kind of my go-to default along with the Evan Williams. So I haven't been using my fighting cock lately in cocktails. Um, it kind of got date. It got downvoted uh, by me. We'll, we'll see if it uh, makes a comeback tonight. So the real question we're trying to answer is which of these available bourbons makes the best old fashioned, at least according to us. Yeah. And you can mix them up. All right. Now we've got the four bourbons mixtures with the the simple syrup and the bitters, and they look beautiful. All right, let's add the ice cubes and then we will drop in the cherries last. He was hiding those for my for my <laughs> cocktail video. I do. These are my super special ice cubes. <laughs> They're like sitting on top of the, the ice cubes. Yep. Now, let me take the spoon and we'll mix them up a little bit and just we gave them each an equal number of stirs. We gave them about 10 stirs so the ice cubes get incorporated, cool them off a little bit. Oh, that smells like a fantastic old fashioned. <laughs> I mean, the smell smells good. I can't like describe the bourbon notes because it, it smells like orange, a little bit of cherry. That's really good. That's a good. Yeah, that one's really, really good. It has a really nice uh, spice note. Mm -hmm. that carries through the sweetness and the uh, the orange. So it's got like a really nice kind of balance. It doesn't get over orange or over sweet. I'm getting notes of barrel char. <laughs> a little nuttiness. I got an Some orange caramel. an orange on the nose. I smell ice. <laughs> <laughs> so different. Wow, that's like super... Oaky. Oaky. Like there's a woodiness to it. Wood. Yeah. yeah there's a woodiness. Oh, well, that's different. I don't like this one as much. And these are all the same cherries. Same. These all these peels all came from the same. Orange. Everything's the same except for the bourbon. Wow, that's different. I like it. Mm hmm. But I like the first one better. I can see why you would like that just because it's, really it's not, it doesn't taste as sweet. I was a little hesitant on thinking what we would really get out of doing this blind. I really thought that it would all just kind of be a mix. And, and we things, don't taste the same. But these are completely different. The first two are. <laughs> the smells, the smells frankly are so are far the same. The yeah. Same. This one's so different too. Ooh, that this has like a cinnamon spice. spice. Cinnamon spice, yeah. yeah. That's very Christmassy. 
I don't love that one. It's okay. it it does. It has that big red hot spice yeah. on it. Yeah, it does. This one would be great for the holidays. Yeah. That would be very festive. I'm getting really excited because I feel like all of these gave me so such a different old fashioned. Ooh, I like this one. That one's really good too. We're gonna go through and we're gonna taste some and we come back, we'll put them on podiums. All right, in fourth place, we have this one. In third place is this one. Second place is this one. And first place was both of our first places. Is that your first place, I guess? Mm -hmm. It's the one that's mostly drunk. It's almost all gone. All right, so this is the outcome. You can tell, honestly, by which one has been drunk the most, <laughs> which one we both prefer. Yeah. What is your order, Jamie? So this is my first, second, third, fourth. Wow, We're yours identical? is the same. So yeah, these... So these two, I really didn't care where they landed. I'm not a fan of either one of those. Like that one's spice. This one has oaky wood. This has a little bit of like a very earthy, oaky taste. Right. And it's not bad. It's I actually like it a lot. It's just not my favorite. I get wood like right away. Yeah, it's a strong woody profile. No, totally. I, but in a, in an old fashioned, I wouldn't necessarily necessarily might not want to sip on this one. Mm -mm. Uh, neat. But in an old fashioned, I think it's still pretty solid. This one has got just such a nice cinnamon stick, cinnamon sugar profile. You know, wintry, App apple festive, cider, Christmas, yeah, you know, kind fall of festival case. type of thing. I mean, this one was clearly in fourth, definitely fourth place. Third place, I think, is a definite step above and very, very good. But kind of the flavor is very seasonal. I kind of feel like this one may be confusing to people if they taste it. I don't feel like it tastes like an old fashioned. It's yeah, it tastes a little different. Maybe, and I'll need to taste. Honestly, I want to taste the bourbon that went into this neat and see what it tastes. See what like. it tastes. Like. So first and first and second place were super close to me. Oh, and they're good. Yeah, first and second place were super close to me. Uh, as far as I had to go back and forth quite a bit. Jamie really kind of gravitated to first pretty quickly. But this one, it, this one's almost overly sweet, and I it's, usually yeah. never yeah. say that. I know. I'm Compared gonna... to this one, it's overly sweet. What? And then this one is just super balanced. There's like a really nice play of spice, sweet, all of the bourbon characteristics, plus the old-fashioned ingredients all kind of come through in this really, really nice way. It's on the easy one. drinking, too. It's easy drinking, but it's not... It doesn't, sometimes when you go out to restaurants, I feel like the old fashioned, the bourbon just gets lost in the sugar and orange. Yeah. All right. In fourth place, we have. No way. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm dead serious. It's wild you turkey said this one. one was super old though, right? <laughs> it's, it's wild turkey. I'm really mixed up now. I don't know what anything is wow. anymore. I mean, it is the old label wild turkey and we've been using the new label wild turkey for a while now. Mm -hmm. but it's 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 there's nothing wrong with it it tastes like wild turkey i don't get any off notes when i when i drank from the bottle in the cocktail it that oakiness really comes out and it's really weird i don't know i'm guessing yeah i'm guessing fighting cock is this one because okay the good You're on that would be my that. guess <laughs> and it's the fighting cock that doesn't surprise me i remember fighting cock being kind of cinnamony mm -hmm. uh if that's a word really really nice in a cocktail yeah in second place Evan Williams bottled and bond. It this was is a good. nice, sweet, it mellow. Was, yeah, it was good. For somebody who's not a huge bourbon lover or doesn't want that pronounced bourbon note, this would be great for just like a very smooth, easy drinking old fashioned. That would be very, all the flavors are very well balanced. Jamie, what's in first place tonight? Old Forester. Old Forester 100. Well. So Old Forester actually gives you a very balanced, even sippable old fashioned. I think that this was a really interesting competition. I am so shocked by the wild turkey. The wild turkey that I used for my cocktail video. And the other one, the new label one. That was a really good cocktail that I made. I feel like it should share first place. I'm not gonna savage this bottle. This bottle is new and has a long life left. So those are the same wild turkeys, right? Like so in same theory, in theory, profile, right? In theory, it's the exact same product. However, there have been a lot of folks on YouTube and other places that have talked about differences in the bottles. And I've tried it myself off camera, just putting them side by side. Mm -hmm. This one's a little earthier. It's so much earthier. I can't believe how much it totally took over the whole old fashioned. It's just a very pronounced wood 
Yeah, it just has a more pronounced wood taste. And it, maybe it's because it's been open. Too much time on the wood shelves. <laughs> Too much time on the shelves. But overall, this was a good competition. And, and I know we're going to get some criticism because we didn't use the new bottle. However, all of these other ones have been open as long as this one. That's why I went with this one is because these all have... I bought these almost all within a month of each other and opened them within a month of each other. So these all are on the same like time trajectory. This one is like a new bottle. I haven't opened it. I opened it very recently. So thank you, Old Forester and Evan Williams. This made a really good old fashioned. It really did. And the Fighting Cock is actually pretty exceptional too. It's really tasty. It's just a more holiday feel. Yeah, it's, it's definitely different. Well, and the funny thing is, is that if I would have like predicted the outcome, I would have probably predicted Wild Turkey 101 being my favorite. Yeah. And, and so I'm really surprised by this. I'm super shocked that we had the same rankings too. That's very rare because we normally don't. We yeah. very, we have quite different palettes. But yeah, the, the Wild Turkey coming in last place was a shock. I wasn't surprised the Old Forester did really well because that is one that I use all the time in cocktails. If you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Road, please subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy Old Fashions, please smash that like button. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Hi guys. Hey, Hi. David, thank you for coming on the speak. <laughs> what happened to your voice? David. <laughs> like Balrog came out of your throat. David, thank you for coming into the dining room. <laughs> the dining room with me today. I'm so glad I came into my own dining room. <laughs>